Hello, Catherine. Luke? Luke, you can come out now. Why would Luke be here? For the same reason you are, apparently. To ruin our evening. To ruin our lives, we both can arrange it. Catherine, he doesn't even know that I'm in Port Charles. No one does but you. Then why are you? For Nicholas. I've been out of touch for so long. <laughs> That's an understatement. He doesn't need you. Doesn't miss you. He is still my son. And when I sense that there uh, might be some difficulties... Difficulties? In <laughs> my bedroom? I, I, I could tell that something wasn't right, so I decided... How could you tell? Who said so? <laughs> I thought Luke was the outrageous one, but this really takes the cake. You couldn't bear the thought that Stefan may finally be happy without you, can you? That's right. I know all about Stefan's emotional history with you. Most of which entailed him being trampled and used and kicked in the teeth. Fine. We're older and wiser now. It's over and done with. End of the chapter. But not for you, apparently. If you are going to pop through the floorboards like some poltergeist and start manufacturing difficulties. You can look at me and not wonder what's going on. <laughs> you even sound like Luke. Why is it so important for the two of you to always assume you know something about my life that I don't? Where did this come from? It's not the same one. It can't be. Not the same as what? It was a gift. And Stefan likes it when I wear it. I had one like it in Greece on the island. It was his favorite then, too. Why are you doing this? And the gown that you're wearing. That one isn't a copy, I know that. No. It's the official uniform of the Cassadine Bride. You wore it when you were engaged to Stavros. Helena wore it before you. Stefan told you that? Yes. And the ring. Would you like to claim that, too? Even though the setting has scratches that must date back to Ivan the Terrible. I did that. I was angry with Stavros, and I tried to smash it against the bench on the bluff. Stefan stopped me, and then he was afraid that what they might do, so he tried to fit the emerald back into the setting and... What bench? A stone bench at an overlook over the water. I used to go there to be alone sometimes, and so did he. Catherine, the gown, the jewelry... Helena didn't wear any of it. They were mine. They were made for me. We belong to the Cassadine family, and I am becoming one of them. Are you? Or are you becoming me? Look. Look. When did we ever look anything alike? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not saying any of this very well. You, you walked in and it just came tumbling out. If you're not happy with your marriage, too bad. Marrying Luke was your mistake. And you will have to live with it because Stefan is taken. Whether you believe he cares for me or not. Catherine, I know he does. Here, look. I am giving Nicholas the mother he deserves. What he meant was you. He sent you this? Yes. Well, then, it appears that I've overstepped. I've been rude to one of our guests. Catherine, please, stay as long as you like. Feel free to pick through my belongings and see how many might-be hand-me-downs of yours are here. 
And when you're finished, there's an entire trunk full of your things from the good old days. Upstairs in the main house. That's right. But it'll have to be later. Because they're locked up. And now so are you. No, Catherine, don't! Wait! Finish our dinner like civilized people. I think we can manage that for one night. <laughs> Come on. Ah, yeah. Hey, it's okay. We can duck out of here quick enough if we have to. This is the first time I've ever crushed anything and totally gotten away with it. Well, you know, the odds are better if you don't go inside. But we got to see everything, and we, we got to dance and eat. Didn't have to make small talk behind a sweaty mask. Do you watch them? Mm. I just caught myself thinking, uh-oh, I'm going to be late getting home. Mm. I still do that sometimes. I can't believe I forgot that Grandma's mad at me, that I'm homeless, that just all of it. I can't believe I forgot about everything but right now. Well, you know, it's not so bad. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's great. I've heard people say stuff about living in the moment. I just never knew what they were talking about. I think this is what they were talking about. I just, I don't know. I, I think all of this is forgetting to worry. Yeah. It's one thing I never forget. Except with you. How am I supposed to know which is the library? Stefan has every room just crammed with books. What's the matter? Edward, Stefan is in the dining room. Have you seen him? Catherine, you look like you've seen... Well, not... Not a ghost, but something equally uh, appalling in your crystal ball. What is it? I need to find him, Edward. Find him, we shall. He can't have gone far. Here, let's go back here. Let's go.
Why so coy? Oh, let me guess. Luke doesn't know you're here. No one does but Catherine. And now you. Catherine? I thought she would go straight to you. What are you doing to her? What are you doing to all of us? What I am doing is granting myself a life, a future, happiness. Can you begrudge me that? You're dressing Catherine in my clothes. There's a painting of me upstairs that I've never even seen before. The trunk that Stavros gave me when we were married, full of my clothes from the island. And gifts from Nicholas's christening. I've stumbled onto something. Some plot against me, against my family, is that it? Is that what you would like it to be? If not, it, if there's some other reason... My God, don't you see how dangerous this is, what you're doing? To whom? You! And Nicholas, and me! Nicholas came to see me in North Carolina. Did you know that? I didn't think so. For, for what reason? What, what did he want? To ask me whether or not you and I were ever in love. What did you tell him? The same thing you did, he said. Helena put this in his mind. Helena? Why? What does she know? That the accusation irks me, and that is why she makes it. You know what I asking you, does she know that we were lovers? Of course not! When I tell her. All right. But don't you see, if, if she keeps goading Nicholas and he starts looking around and, and sees what looks like evidence, my clothes and, and my jewelry, how long will it be before he begins to wonder? And if he does begin to wonder and, and he decides that he can't trust either one of us anymore and he goes looking for answers on his own, what will he find? Is he your brother's son or is he ours? He will learn that he is Prince Nicholas. The last of the Cassadine princes, sole legitimate heir of the late Stavros Cassadine. Oh my God. So now you know. Yes, I know. You're lying. If he was really Stavros's son, you would never admit that and give up the threat that you used to run me out of town. You'd say anything, wouldn't you? To protect Nicholas and his title. And his peace of mind. Even from me, wouldn't you? Yes. I would. And have. So you might have hated me enough to tell Luke everything, but not if it meant that Nicholas might find out. You are my son's father. Did you ever doubt it? Yes, I... No. I couldn't allow myself to know it. If anyone sees me here, this will all have been for nothing. You have got to get rid of that trunk and everything in it. No, never mind that now. You said you saw Catherine. What did she ask? What did you tell her? Uh, I hardly even knew what I was saying. Neither did she. But you say you want happiness and you want a future with her. Yes, yes, more than anything in the world. Then don't make her a prisoner, the way Stavros did to me. Yes, a prisoner. A prisoner of my imprisonment on that island, of our past. Let it go. Let her be, if you really love her. Wait. Are you staying or going back to North Carolina? 
What does it matter now? To me, nothing. little motherless Natasha. Oh, I'm finally recovering it. You know what happens to people who defy me. I know what happens to the weak and the defenseless ones. Stefan defies you every time he sees your hideous face, yet somehow nothing bad ever happens to him. Oh, ho! So it was my spineless, spiteful son, Stefan, who put you up to this. I don't think that we should be discussing this here. There's too many people around. Come with me upstairs. Where? I sit upstairs. To the parapet. No. It was never about me. It was always about her. I store here for Stop lying list. to me. When you look at me, this is what you see. No. What you wish you saw. No. Catherine, you could come downstairs with me. Anywhere but this suffocating room. And when you made love to me, did you see her then? No! Laura is nothing! She is nothing to me! She put these doubts in your mind, didn't she? Don't you, don't you know how she despises me? She would do anything to thwart our happiness. This, this is your happiness. No, 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 this, this portrait doesn't even belong to me. It came to Nicholas from his father. It's older than he is. Signed and dated. December 19. Another lie. Another fake. Like all your cherished heirlooms that date no further back than Laura. Catherine, please. Keep away from me! You are not leaving until I get an explanation. Not here. Stefan will hear us. Oh, get your paranoia straight, my dear. I am the one you should be terrified of. Oh, right. I'm a paranoia. Your husband is my father's second grandchild. Oh, you're lying. No, I'm not. I have the secrets upstairs. Oh, I don't believe you. And even if I did believe you, you witless little woman, your foot interest to me would be the bastard of a bastard. Now, if anything, it is your life that is going to be worthless. Let go of her. I I, I'm all right. I'm witness. all right, Ned. I see you. I can handle this. I'll settle with you soon, my dear. No, no, don't go. Our eyes have been having a serious conversation all night long. Maybe. If it were any other night, any other time, no, believe me. I won't have had enough to drink to do this any other night. Mm -hmm. I try to hate you, but I can't. I hurt you too damn much. Now, Alexis, please, come home with me. Come back home with me. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You're sitting around for past in the dark, no matter what Helena says. Why? What did she say? She said for you to meet her at the stone bench. Excuse
No one must see you. I can't just sneak away now. Would you rather explain your presence? 